you want. Wow, that was a frightening experience. The Nords should really consider burning their dead. Although granted it would make opening urns a lot more harrowing. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry, that's not blood on my face, it's makeup. No, I'm sorry, war paint. Doesn't help much in actual war though, but you did great. That's why you get first shot at rubbing these graves. Yes, the markets in Sovngarde must be awfully expensive given how desperate they are to take their possessions with them. The name's Romarin, professional adventurer, bladebinder, and grave robber. Oh, I have a friend who works the stables at Windhelm. That's where I'm staying for the time being. I normally travel alone, but that's because I'm insufferable. If by chance you're willing to overlook that, I might make for a good companion. It's right there in the word. I summon and bind blades and weapons from oblivion. I was always good with a sword and bow and always too lazy to carry them. Learning how to conjure the weapons I need solved that dilemma. That's always been my strategy for brawls. The problem is I never have enough companions to make it worthwhile. No, I can't compare to them. Unless by illusion you mean hiding a dagger in my sleeve. Not unless by... Alteration, you mean covering my nose around beggars, or by destruction, you mean what time does to love. I consider myself more of a blacksmith. Oblivion is my forge, and conjuration my hammer. Well, for starters, traveling light makes it easy to flee. Not that I would advocate running from a fight. No, best to back away slowly until your friends intervene. Well, there's the problem. I have skill, not strength. I have speed, but no stamina. I mean, look at me. I'm rather delicate. I'm surprised I can lift anything at all. Ever seen an elf juggle three axes while conjuring a fourth? Tie a cherry stem into a knot with their tongue? Now that's magic. Now, if you mean spells and things, that, I'm afraid, requires more than being born with your ears pointed skyward. That requires... Ugh studying. I do. They're tall, punctual, and have good posture. Yes, but so is the Empire. The Stormcloaks are the only ones who come late to the party. But what they lack in punctuality, they make up for with surliness. Let's go. 